What's up guys? What up? It's Shani with Healing Elements here to talk about the spirit of the lion, the lion spirit animal. And so I think I will do a video picture in picture, just put some animals on the screen like I do sometimes for these videos. So I'll put the lions, whatever I can find on the screen and put this picture in picture. But you know, I want to talk about spirit animal of the lion. So if you have ever, you know, um, been attracted to or resonated with a specific spirit animal, you know, um, then I have over 50, I believe by now, of spirit animal videos describing what the traits and the symbolism are for various ones. And if you've never, you know, never considered what a spirit animal is or what it means to you, if you have a specific one, then I invite you to perhaps pick one in the list and see, or if you see if you resonate with any of the traits and maybe you can use those, you know, significant meanings, messages that are in the video in some way to your advantage, some way to promote positivity, growth, or, you know, reflection. So in general, you know, your power animal, animal totem, spirit animal that you resonate with the most throughout your life is sent to be a spirit guide of sorts, in my opinion. To help you through life and so the spirit of the lion this is all about the spirit animal of the lion the lion spirit animal so this one is really of course powerful ferocious it deals with a lot of you know aggression but in the same respect a lot of uh, controlled and you know manufactured deliberately energy that is bold that is prideful that is you know, very capable and very strong. Strong will is something, of course, if you resonate with the spirit animal of the lion, that you possess a strong will and a great, you know, capacity to overcome any obstacles, to hunt as the lion does in wild for what you need as far as your prey. So if you're hunting for a job, then your prey would be the occupation of your choice, right? So with the spirit animal of the lion, if you think about the lion in the wild, the lion is adored. So in your lifetime, you can have a, you know, long period of time in which you are put up on a pedestal, you know, and rightly so because of the qualities that you exude, because of the talents that you have, because of the power that you possess and accomplishing what it is that you set out to do. And something that I wanted to bring up in the beginning of this video is that there is a rise and a fall of everything, right? Like the rise and the fall of Rome. So interesting, recently, the whole cancel culture, which means basically if you have stepped out of, you know, line with certain people and individuals, they kind of gang attack you up on, you know, a big either social media platform or, you know, in general, just make a protest large numbers of people and, you know, ask or, you know, ensue the thing to take place, which is canceled you, right? Getting you out of endorsements, maybe if you're a celebrity that you represent or getting you fired from a job if you are in an occupation. So the cancel culture, I think it reminded me because two huge Leos, um, one is John Gruden, the ex coach of the football team I support, the Oakland Raiders. And another one is a very um, famous astrologer and he is on YouTube. He's also a Leo and they both were quote unquote canceled. And so it reminded me that Leos, both of them, you know, Leos are represented by a lion, by the lion and the traits. So this spirit animal video, I felt it appropriate to put in regarding the rise and fall of somebody who resonates with the lion spirit because, you know, just as the lion in the wild, a uh, young dominant male takes over a harem of females in a pride and is dominant and is able to protect those females from other males coming in until his day of getting, you know, older, of getting, you know, uh, run through the ringer from having past battles and protecting that harem and pride of theirs and so it always comes a point in a lion in the wild's life in which a younger younger lion a stud a bachelor comes in challenges the lion that is of course you know um, a very dedicated and seasoned um, leader of the pride and then challenges that lion and then of course um, is cast out, so outcast, and usually it's a really sad story. He, you know, is canceled, so to speak, the lion, and he has to go on and try to be one who maintains his livelihood and sustenance with food, etc., on his own, and that's very tough to do. Uh, usually where lions are, 
you know, um, situated and living. And so it just made me feel about, you know, it made me um, resonate and feel that it was appropriate to put in this video for the spirit of the line. So animal spirit, people who resonate with the animal spirit of the lion can have a very, very successful, you know, life path up until a certain point and then of course feel outcast. So if you have been, you know, one that doesn't know what unpopularity is or what uh, being maybe gang attacked, like bullied, bully mentality, even if it's on a small scale, even if it's a, you know, perspective of opinion change on your reputation, I feel that a lot of you will resonate with that and it's very, very indicative of the lion spirit animal people or traits that this is kind of a big blow to your ego. So lion spirit also represents pride in, in ego. So if you resonate with the lion spirit, you adorn yourself with things that, whether it's your physical appearance and makeup and or clothes, you adorn yourself with things that are aesthetic and who, you know, are which, you know, represent the way you feel, which is always wanting to look you know, look the part, look as powerful as you are on the inside, you know, um, look as sharp as your mind is. And I think that the lion spirit is also on the same token of being so capable as a aggressor. Um, let, let's take the other spectrum. So if you resonate with the lion, it's kind of like a walking contradiction sometimes, the spirit animal of the lion, because you are just as docile and as loving when you are in close quarters with the people who you trust and who you want to protect, i.e. the lion in the lion den, right? With the cubs, just so beautifully relaxed and calm and can definitely put that vibe off and it can like, you know, a contagion, it can surround those that you are with to put them at ease. So this is a very a patriarchal, this is very, you know, um, dominant in the way that you have an aura you can be very 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 influential so before you have potentially in your life some sort of experience that makes you feel outcast you're on top and you influence a lot of people so that's good if you are using your influence to show that there is a lot of capability and power in standing your ground and being very very assured of your skill of your um, power and pride you know and maintaining that harem and that protective kind of father figure, you know, I will be there for everyone to protect in a very physical way and also very mental, spiritual way as well. Of course, I think um, indicative to the sign of Leo also and the lion spirit animal, it is all about the heart space. So Leo and lion to me means heart. There's a lot of, of course, metaphors and uh, tie-ins, you know, um, the lion and the wizard of Oz, right? If he only had a heart, the heart is tied in with the lion. I think that it takes a lot of heart to be courageous. And that is another big trait that I think sums up the spirit of the lion for this essence of the spirit animal of the lion, that when it comes to it, you are able to be as loyal to people as they are to you. So you have the ability to simmer down and be humble when it you know benefits you and or somebody you love you have a big capacity in your heart for understanding that things you know change people need love and so sometimes you can seem unapproachable with your you know aggressive or very very you know powerful assertive um, aggressive nature you know so some people may hold back unless they know you very well from asking something significant um, to help them because they think that you will not be as sensitive as they are to that fact but the you know spirit animal to me of the lion is indicative of you know uh, what you see is not always what you get don't judge a book by its cover because the lion spirit animal can hold significance in the heart space of you know being charitable so if you find that you are charitable it is a very um you know giving nature that you have holding that space in your heart to see love around you and when there is not love then you are compelled to you know put the pieces together to make sure that there is love so you'll be very you know um, drawn to orphans or people who don't have as much as they need to sustain or make them happy so you're all about happiness contentment joy that lion in the den vibe so you are willing to give out whatever is needed whatever you have in order to you know 
um, assure that those people experience some sort of joy in their life as well. And another, you know, um, definite symbol that I feel is attached to the spirit animal of the lion is endurance. So, you know, if you've ever seen some of the nature specials, the lion on the hunt, generally the female, so the matriarch part of this, the divine feminine part of, because I think this is a blend, the spirit animal is a blend of both divine masculine and divine feminine energy. I feel like you make the, you know, the women or the females in a pride, in a group of lions, they are typically responsible for hunting. And sometimes these prey that they go after are very elusive, uh, gazelles, things like that, that can run faster, that can elude people or elude, <laughs> capture rather. And this, you know, requires the person on the hunt, the lion to be absolutely, to have endurance and to have determination and don't, you know, not falter, not give up on the chase, even if it seems as if they've, you know, exhausted all of their resources maybe and they are, you know, looking for resources they do not have like water and they are just down to the last kind of, um, the last stand. It seems like the spirit of the lion will persevere regardless in every area to achieve what they need to in order to survive. So survival is another key um, symbol or symbolic meaning to this spirit animal. I feel like there is a lot of spirit animals that have this essence tied into it, but the lion is willing to do whatever it takes and to do it over and over and over persistently, you know, with courage in order to get to what they need to have to sustain their life path. So in any case, guys, this is all about the spirit animal of the lion. I will add a few other things I feel um, to this once I get home, but it came to me. I just really wanted to do this outside, outdoors, and get the voiceover at least going. And behind me, you can hear a squirrel. So here I am at home to add a few more things to go with this video for the spirit animal of the lion. So a couple of different cultures that celebrate the lion and what it represents. Um, Greco-Roman, of course, tie in with the lion and the symbolic meaning of power and would often have lions adorn their, you know, where to go out to battle. And in China, they have something called the lion dance that they perform for the Chinese New Year. Um, they hold the lion spirit just as the dragon spirit in high regard for being one of superiority, power, and wisdom. So that brings me to the next theme I wanted to talk about is the lion spirit in the leadership and wise, you know, roles that you can play if you resonate with the spirit animal of the lion. There is an innate maturity and wisdom and knowing, understanding um, when you are around the people who resonate with the spirit animal of the lion. You honestly don't look for any other person to lead the group, lead the project, lead the, you know, chaotic scene in which to calm down and create order and structure and ferociously assertively find your way out of a problem if the case may be so you know there are a lot of you know beautiful qualities aside from the aggression with the lion but of course the king of the jungle or queen of the jungle it speaks volumes and you know you don't get your name you don't get that reputation or title for you know just a small reason or a small period of time so you are infallible you are definitely timeless and your wisdom is something that permeates through your soul. You can almost, you know, tap into Akashic records or just channel on a daily basis with what you are speaking in conversation. So this also, of course, would tie in with being very loving and loyal in that love. Again, the heart space theme being very, very affectionate. So you love, love making, you love foreplay, you love any kind of, you know, intimacy that involves touch. You are very much one who enjoys the moments in life that bring pleasure. So this is something that can be an oxymoron again, or a walking contradiction, you know, when given maybe your, you know, foe, your enemy, or somebody who opposes you competitively, they would never imagine that you are so gentle and soft when you are in your lion den, so to speak, if you resonate with the spirit animal of the lion. So you can have throughout your life, of course, some difficulty controlling the approach and the 
power and aggressive nature in which you come at situations, people, places, and things. However, sometimes it really plays in your favor to do so and you end up getting much recognition as far as a pioneer or hero someone who is very brave and was able to cut through the chase and learn how to solve the problem in order to beat whatever you were up against as far as opposition so another you know trait i believe goes hand in hand with the spirit animal of the lion is having an insatiable appetite that ties in of course to romance but also insatiable appetite so passionate for food that you are able to eat your body weight in food however this does not mean that you have you know a problem with obesity or anything like that that is definitely not tied into spirit animal Meanings, this is just saying you have so much energy that you put out on a daily basis constantly, whether or not it is in battle or whether or not it is in fun and play or with your lover that you need to constantly refuel yourself. So you guys, I really appreciate you taking the time to listen to my interpretation of the spirit animal of the lion, all about courage, wisdom, superiority, power, and patriarch type of leadership a very nurturing as well though speaking of the half divine feminine side nurturing and loving to an absolute high point thank you so much love and light guys shani with helium elements